Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Care to have a drink with me, sweet Sigrid? Drunk again, Ambry? Don't let Alvar hear you talking to me that way. He'll stick it. Welcome. Let me know if you want. I don't anything. think you were following. I think I Come on, mug I have a plan. Somewhere. We got rooms and food. Drink. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. I'm sorry, but I refuse to believe that anyone would be fighting over that Camilla what's-her-name in the Riverwood Trader. You would have to be deaf, dumb, and blind. You're a serious danger to the public to fancy her. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. The Thalmor ambassador, Ellenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a Wood Elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Sounds good. Be careful. This is either going to be the best... It's the worst I... Yeah, ever. Still, I wouldn't mind getting back at those Thalmor for what they have done to our kingdom. And I do love to dress up and make a lasting impression.
Whatever you need. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? more drunk people in Skyrim. That would make things sometimes more fun. I mean, why would the discourage drunken behavior when they should be encouraging it? A drunken fur Are you saying you don't trust me? Fair point, actually. I wouldn't trust me. I'm glad that's sorted. You looking for a new blade? The finest weapons and armor. There's beauty here unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. I'll show you what I know. Farewell. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing.
All right then.
Welcome. Let me know if you want me. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Make sure to pull your bow all the way back to get the oh, The wind blows bitter cold. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? It is Rissad who owns the three trading caravans that traveled the roads of Skyrim. Long ago, I was an orphan on the streets of Corinth. I stowed away aboard a trade ship that brought me here. It was Rissad who found me. He provided the funds to start this caravan and put me in charge of it. I owe him more than I could ever hope to repay. Take a look.
May your road lead you to warm sands. If you come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you can. They can't hurt Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! Good business for the East Empire Company means all the more gold for the Empire. You should tell her that her uncle is scum. Yes! Yes! High King. Best I don't have now. time for anyone too lazy or cowardly to make their own way in this world. Rog there. You helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric no. challenged Torig. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! On this day, I go to Sovngarde. a gate and they cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. Some gate to guard you. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Hmm? Good morning. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Did he just say getting fingered as a spy, or was it by a spy? That makes twenty. That doesn't sound so bad. Oh, he didn't mean it like that? <laughs> That's a pity. <laughs> I guess. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Malborn smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party.
the Thalmor embassy dressed like that. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. carriage no less i salute you sir my lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this god's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late i prefer to arrive early often the day before the party so as not to miss out on any of the drinking please you first i insist there's not enough drinking in the world today wouldn't you agree welcome to the thalmor embassy your invitation, please. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, so... Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elinwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? agree more. By the way, have you heard any interesting rumors lately? Ah, uh, well, yes. I, I remember your long name long from the guest there list. Please, Madam tell me more about yourself. So what brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Nalvorn? It's just like that, that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. Between My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Dry. Please, enjoy yourself. Troubles. With any luck, a worthy hero will step forward and solve all our what problems. What can I get for you? Just like you made it in. Possible. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Isn't this something? Drinking milk, Ellen making really knows a how milk to host drinker. a party. I'm confused. When I married Torig, he promised we'd go to lavish parties just like this. I wish he were here now. Very much so, yes. Ellenwyn's parties are always so elegant. She really has impeccable taste. My only regret is that she doesn't host them more often. I beg your pardon? You must have me mistaken for someone else. I am Elisif. Widow of High King Torig and Jarl of Solitude. Lucky for you, I possess a forgiving nature, and I'm not easily insulted. It was a pleasure, thank you. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles! If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Wonderful! I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. 
Say on, friend. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Helen Wen, our yes, mistress. I doing? speak figuratively. Uh, Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. I'll be a good boy now. Wouldn't want to offend our thou more over... Lord's wood. Who comes, my... You know I don't drink. like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Just look at that stunning view. Rules? Is it, Savani? What? I didn't realize that I eating moon sugar was I wasn't looking at you, I was looking at... Perhaps I should ask okay, the ambassador. I was looking at you. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. This war has Good luck. You see those robes You're on your own now. Morning? Who are they with? More of the Emissary's Treaty Enforcers? No, they're High Mages, just in from Alinor. Ah! No. Did you hear something? Yes, I'm listening. Fine, but don't take advantage of me. At least not in that way. No fun. All right, then.
have you know this city? What was that? I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence! Do not presume, Gisa. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other Someone informants there. who are less... Guess it's all clear now. Was it was ah, a ah, ah. that I learned this spell. Make people naked? It is done.
I told you. I don't know anything else about it. Fine. Whatever you want. Can't you just kill me and get it over with? There's this old man. I've seen him around Rifton. I don't know where he lives. I don't know his name. Yes, he matches the description of this Esbun guy you're looking for. Maybe it's him, maybe it isn't. That's all I know, okay? What? Who? What? What do you want then? Yeah, Listen sure. Up, uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Never mind. Silence, I'm traitor. dead already. I guess you know what you're doing. I've got to find a way out of here. Once it actually was me that knocked something over. You didn't have to help me, so thanks. This isn't too friendly with strangers, but you seem all right. Welcome. Let me know if you want to. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that. You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? 
Or what? Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. I'm all ears. Are you saying you don't trust me? Fair point, actually. I wouldn't trust me. Let's not hang around. I take it by trade, you mean dump all your useless junk on me? Fine. I'm here, if you ever need me. I guess we better go to Riften and find this Esbern then. We could go and ask Grinjolf, but I don't trust anyone who is a member of the Thieves Guild. Better off asking that Agonian woman at the B and Barb, as she seems to have all the gossip. But it's up to you. Dangerous post, Onstar. If the bandits don't get you, the animals will. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? 
climbing back and we'll be off. I can't wait here forever. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? You want in? You need to cooperate. Victory. Now, let me guess. You, uh, you're no fun. I rather enjoyed a little chat. Listen to that talk. He scarped it out of the racket of Nagin. Face Butcher is more like it from what I've heard. It may be dead now, but where did it come from? Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, for the privilege of entering the city. All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Gates unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Have you heard? There's been an. I have. 
had another run-in with the Thieves Guild. Be careful, Leo. The Thieves Guild has Maven Blackbriar at its back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Rifting People Jail. People laugh at things they don't believe. They it helps them accept. And I'm here. I can't just ignore them. I don't even. know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing yeah? that's happened Yeah, well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. The Black Briars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. So what do you want to know? The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild, so basically no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Be seeing you around. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. A word of advice. Of Never Heed buy a words. used copy of the Lost. The return of the dragons is not the mere coincidence. Are always worn and the pages this is stuck one of together. The signs. The signs that Lady Mara I just don't is get displeased it. with your constant I swear, inebriation. There must be some kind of conspiracy. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids. And Fancy yourself the teaching the of a handmaiden of kind. Never it's done an well. honest day's no, no, work no, no, in your no, life no, for no, all that coin you carry, hey, lad. Kira, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. Ah, expecting free information, eh? Help me deal with business first, then we'll see how I can help you. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Very well, Am I right? I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Passing Just on a golden opportunity is worse. Let us all sin in peace. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. I'll be at the market come morning. You better be there too. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, Hit the road. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Uh -huh. Welcome to the Bee Bar, Nord. my lord. I trust if I can interest you while I'm special drinks, let me know.
New around with it? Fancy yourself the adventuring type, eh? It's just as well. I doubt your combat prowess would prove valuable in a real battle anyway. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Currently in more. What brings you to Balamut today? Repair? Purchase? You wish to do what I do? Very well. If you need more smithing, come see me again. Huh? Nothing like the smell of a white hot blade, eh? If you need any more smithing, work, come see me again. And who among us could possibly have that honor? And such what do you say power? to some cheap me? You come to see Balaman perform. What brings you to Balaman today? Repair? Purchase? Do you have some... Are you saying you don't trust me? Fair point, actually. I wouldn't trust me. If you need any move, more smithing, nothing like the smell of a white hot blade, eh? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. If you need any more smithing work, come see me again. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Jewelry, legendary. For sale. Live for thousands of years. See into other people's thoughts. Looking for some armor? A weapon? Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage?
If you need any more smithing work, come see me again. I'm all ears. Well, is it because you're scared what I might do with it? All right, then. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Vegetables. Genuine Falmer blood elixir morning. for sale. Live for thousands of years. See into other people's thoughts. Okay, Lot. Ready to make some coin. From Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. You need to hear this. You need to hear this. This way, everyone, over here. Gather round, all. This is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the Wisp Essence, and it turned out to be crushed nerm root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding, but this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give... Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a Need waste something? of time. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have waited. Fresh meats and produce. Looks yep, like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. Look, I'll make this simple for you. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. When you make up your mind, come find me there, and we'll talk about your future. All right, I'll entertain you a bit more. Go on. Jewelry with legendary Argonian yeah, I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens, paying us right, good coin for Shea. nobody Turn to know about it. We know you have it. Have what? What in blazes are you talking about? Come back when you grow a back. Don't play stupid. I said turn out your pockets. Now. I'm telling you, Seriously? I don't... Seriously? Wait, what's the We have to go into this the smelly mine. sewers to find some old guy. That's right. It isn't your... The things God I have to do for Frenchie. you. This is insane. Still, steal, with all these men around Skyrim, I guess I must be used to the smell by now. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thieves' Guild. Or so they'd have your life. It's all lies. They're just thugs. Vermin. Creeping around the red way. Never 
the sewers. <laughs> Not some secret hideout. <laughs> Are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Until next we meet, lad. If you're looking for conversation, the flagon is in place. What do I have to do to get a drink around here? Actually, I don't think I want to know.
I'm back. Hey, my darling. No. no. Go away. What? I'm getting out of here. No, that's not me. I'm not desperate. I don't know what you're talking about. Spare me, please. You're lucky I've come to the so I can do unspeakable things. Oh, how reassuring. Most likely you were with the Thalmor. And this is just a trick to get me to open the door, huh? I am sorry, but you left me with no choice. What's that you said? Dragonborn? Then there really is hope after all. You'd better come inside. Quickly now. Thalmor agents have been seen in the Ratway. Th this'll just take a moment. This one always sticks. There we go. Only a couple more. There we are. Come in, come in. Make yourself at home. That's better. Wow. This guy now sure is security them. conscious. He makes you me look normal. Dragonborn. Is it really true? Important. Far more than even she realizes. If you are Dragonborn, then... <laughs> there is hope, after all. For so long, all I could do was watch our doom approach, helplessly. Dragons, pah, they can be killed. The Blades killed many in their early days as dragon slayers. No, the dragons are merely the final portent of the end of days. Oh, yes. The prophecies make clear the signs that will precede the end times. One by one, I've seen them fulfilled. Alduin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time, who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Alduin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. You're right, I forget myself. I've lived without hope for so long. The prophecies are clear. Only the Dragonborn can stop Aldrin. We must go, quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. What do you mean? Just a moment. I must gather a few things. I'll need... Uh, no. No useless trash. Better put my annotated annual... Secrets for the Thalmor. There's one more I must bring. Um, well, I guess that's good enough. Let's be off. I, I know, I know. I'm hurrying.
They owe our organization some serious coin. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Buying and selling fine looking jewelry to stay alive? here. Why take a chance? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Jewelry. Legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. All meats guaranteed, clean and free from rock joints. This huh? should be good. And now you pay for meddling in the Thalmor <laughs> affairs. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Need a ride? Joining up myself. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Oh, steady. Embarrassed to say what comes to mind. Friendship. 